I would like to show you the log cabin concept. Uh, the concept is as the clients enter through the main entrance greeted by the receptionist comes to here and immediately taking the clients into the specific exam room. If it's a cat goes to the cat exam room if it's a dog goes to one or the other dog examination rooms. Uh, you will see that how comfortable these uh, examination rooms which we use as a consultation room waiting room checkout room as well. It's very important to, to have these examination rooms at the highest level of, of uh, comfort both for the uh, client and the, and the pet. The second step is that the uh, technicians enter to the proper room, greet the client again, take the history and do a basic physical examination or actually just talking to, to the pet owner and finding out uh, exactly what's happening. Then in each exam room the technician makes notes which are transferred throughout the entire hospital. We have about 12 computer stations. Then a doctor comes from the hospital, goes into the proper examination room, greet the client, and then after a brief physical examination, consultation, then uh, uh, the client will decide what procedure is authorized by uh, the client, and then we don't ever do any painful uh, physical examination or we don't give any injections, nothing painful because this front part of the hospital is like a home. The pets here and the clients arrive here and they stay here as they enter to some, somebody's home. It's very important. When it's decided, for example, that in this examination room, this pet, this dog, needs, uh, let's say, blood tests or radiographs or ear cleaning or something, then the pet is, is taken back by a technician back to the back part of the hospital, which has a central treatment area. The client either stays here, but most of the time, 99% of the time, the client comes and goes into our lobby area. The lobby area, uh, we uh, allow our clients to enter without their pets. That provides them and the utmost comfort, no, no dogs jumping on them. The children can play here, so the children are also protected. Uh, and what is happening then, back here, where uh, we finish the, the treatment, during the treatment or examination, we take uh, many pictures and videos, and we upload it in the treatment area to the computer to our server then pictures are distributed throughout the hospital on all stations so we come back here to the lobby area and we demonstrate our our clients that what is happening in the back people used to think vets used to think that if you separate clients and their pets they would not like it in fact 99.9% .9 of the time our clients are very very happy to be separated from from the procedure, uh, in the procedure performed on, on their pets, so they don't have to see that, but they are also informed through videos and um, explanations and pictures what is happening in the back. After the explanation, uh, the, the reception area uh, gives the client the, uh, the invoice either in the lobby area 
or takes you back to the uh, examination room if a client happened to be waiting there. And just like at a nice restaurant where you don't have to line, line up at the cashiers at the end of your meal, here the same thing, you don't have to you know, fight for the due to the high traffic area in most veteran hospitals. We don't have that. Uh, either you've got the invoice here or, or the invoice in the examination rooms and um, the client just pays there and uh, then at the end, only then, when everything was explained, the bill, uh, the medication we sent home, only then the patient is brought back to the client here and the client meets the pet and they leave happily. This is the lock cabin animal hospitals concept.